This topic is related to database management system. This is very interesting topic, very easy to understand. And I have explained here in such a way that those who are beginners also, they can learn this topic with full interest and they will be able to acquire some knowledge, some ideas about the topic. So I'm going to start the topic that is relationships in database. This is very important topic, very easy, very easy to understand. So if you are able to understand this concept properly, uh, please make the notes, prepare the notes because types of relationships is mentioned here at the top. Now all the types, four types are there in this topic and all the four types are explained with the help of definition, their examples and the suitable diagrams one by one. So you can prepare the notes from this lecture. Fine. Now I'm going to explain this topic one by one. Firstly, we have to understand that what are the types of relationships in database. There are four types of relationships in database that is one to one relationship, one to many relationship, many to one relationship and many to many relationship. Fine. So if you are getting questions in short type of question that is what are the types of relationship then only you have to explain the points fine that's it but if you are getting the same topic in long questions for five for seven to ten marks you can say then you have to first mention the types of relationships in database then one by one you have to mention the definition examples and diagrams that will be associated with the relationships mentioned in the diagram so that the co complete concept will get clear from your answer as i have mentioned here fine now i'm going to explain all the topics one by one now see one to one relationship as the name suggests from both the sides from entity set a and entity set b it must be obviously one to one relationship that's why it is known as one to one relationship what is the definition of this one to one relationship an entity in a is associated with at most one entity in b and an entity in b is associated with at most one entity in a now I'm going to explain the concept with the help of a suitable diagram that I have taken here. This is college. From left side, you can consider it as entity set A. From right side, principle is maintained here. So this, you can consider it as entity set B. Now two entity, entity sets we have taken here, entity set A and entity set B. And both the entity sets are connected to each other with the help of a relationship that is has. has. Fine. Now, try to understand the concept. From left side, one college has one principle. Here I have mentioned the relationship as one to one. Both the sides you can see one, one, it is written here. So, that represents the relationship in ER diagram. The concept of entity relationship diagram, I have already explained here in my youtube channel with the help of definition types their important notations and with the help of one examples also so you can take help from there otherwise link i will provide in description box fine now so one college has one principle I hope you are able to understand the concept of one to one relationship. Now I have explained the same topic with the help of some another example. One person has one passport. Passport is the ID proof. So one person has one passport. This is a relationship from a relationship one to one relationship from entity set A to entity set B. Now we will check it and vice versa. Suppose in the previous example, this is college and principal. If we will check it, the same concept of one to one from entity set B to entity set A, that is from right to left, then what 
is the concept of this one principal is assigned to one college fine one principal can assign to or you can say one principal can work in one college so from entity set a to b one college has one principal and from entity set b to a one principal can be assigned to one college so this is one to one relationship now come to the second example one person has one passport so this is a relationship of one to one here it is compulsory to show this notation one one or if we will move towards one to many then you have to explain uh, explain or you have to show you have to represent it with the help of the suitable notation fine now come to the second type of relationship that is one to many relationship first we will see that what is the definition of this one to many relationship fine so definition i have mentioned here in a very simple word that any beginner who is unaware about all these topics they can also understand it very easily so the definition of this one to many relationship is uh, an entity in a is associated with any number of entities in b and if you will move towards right side then the definition is an entity in b is associated with at most one entity in a so from entity set a to b also i have mentioned the definition and from entity set b to a also i have mentioned the definition here fine now come to the example this department and customer are the two entities from entity set a these two are these are two examples completely different from each other don't connect these two examples with each other they are completely individual so from first example we can say one department works in many faculties so we can explain it like this in one department many faculties can work many is represented here with n n word fine so if n is written then you consider it as many if one is written then it is one only not many so this is an example of one to many relationship and uh, both the entity types that is department and faculty these two are the entity sets which is represented by rectangular box and these two entities are connected with a relationship that is known as works in and relationship can always be represented in er diagram with the help of a rect uh, sorry diamond shaped box fine so this is the concept of entities and relationship and we can make the sentence from this given example as in one department many faculty can work or if we will move towards right to left that is from entity set b to entity set a we can say many faculty works in one department fine so this is a real life example you can understand it properly that's why i have taken this type of example now come to the second type of example here customer and bank account these two are the entity sets which is represented here with the help of rectangular box customer and bank account is the entity fine now as we all know that one customer has many bank accounts fine you all have your bank accounts and you can know better that one customer has many bank accounts so it is true from entity set a to entity set b now come to the third type of relationship that is many to one relationship many to one relationship yes so this is the third type of relationship we have so first we will see the definition of this many to one relationship definition is an, an entity in a is associated with at most one entity in b and if we will move towards right to left the statement says an entity in b is associated with any number in a so this is a definition for many to one relationship 
fine now let us check it with the help of an example this is many to one so here i have written many and here right side right side one is written so this represents many to one relationship this course and this faculty are the two entity sets this is this course is from is belongs to actually entity set a and this faculty belongs to entity set b many course here it is written m so we can consider it here as many course can be taught by one faculty many course can be taught by one faculty fine and if we will move towards right to left that is from entity set b to entity set a fine then how we can make the sentence or how we can visualize it like uh, one faculty here because one is already denoted here so we will consider it as one faculty can teach many course so this is an example of many to one relationship i hope you are getting the point please mention your views according related to this topic in the comment section so that i can know your thinking whether you are able to understand the points descriptions examples properly or not fine and according to your thinking according to your comment i can make my videos in a better way so that it will be a very it will be very fruitful for the students now come to the last point that is last type of relationship is many to many relationship here you can see in the diagram i have mentioned here m and right side is mentioned as n so if m and n both are represented in the same diagram then you can understand that this is an example of many to many relationship now come to the definition first then we will move to the example or diagram definition speaks that entities in a and b are associated with any number of entities from each other fine now here in entity set a we have entity book and in entity set b we have an entity author now m is already represented here fine m is already represented which denotes many and in right side you can see n is represented here so it also denotes many fine now how we can connect it these two entities book and author are represented by one relationship that is rights relationship is always represented with the help of a diamond notation in terms of er diagram so many book can be written by many authors fine and if you will move towards right to left that is from entity set b to entity set a then how we can understand it the way is many author because n is mentioned here in right side in entity set b so we can consider it as many author many author writes many book if you move towards right to left or we can say from entity set b to entity set a then we can say many authors can write many book so this is an, an example of many to many relationship now come to the second example that is the last one here also you can see m is written this denotes many and right side also you can see n is represented here so this also represents many means from both the sides many to many relationships are being maintained fine now in entity set a one entity is represented as customer with the help of rectangular box in entity set b another entity is represented in rectangular box that is named as product now these two entities customer and product are connected to each other or we can say these two entities are related to each other with the help of a relationship that is bys 
so relationship is always can be denoted with the help of diamond shaped box fine so how we can how we can explain this second example many customer because m is written here so we will consider it as many customer many customer buys many product if n is written here it means it denotes many so many customer buys many product fine now move towards right to left or we can say from entity set b to entity set a how it is connected many products because n is written here so it can be considered as many and inside the entity box you don't have to mention many word m a n y you don't have to mention it just write product and if n is written here then it can be represented as many so many product can be purchased by many customer fine so this is all about relationships in database this is very important topic fine and i have tried here to explain all the types with the help of definition with the help of diagram with the help of suitable examples and notations properly i hope you have understood the concept of relationships in database in my next video also i will try to upload some contents related to database management system but before going through this video you have to gain knowledge about er diagram that is entity relationship diagram that what is it and what are the proper notations used for entities their attributes and their relationships so that video is already uploaded in my youtube channel you can take help from there so i hope you are able to understand the concept properly this one so you can give your opinion in the comment section fine and this topic is useful for the examination purpose fine if you have understood the concept from starting to end uh, you can prepare notes that will be very helpful for you fine so thank you